How did Idaho become so popular? And how does Idaho continue to be one of the best states to move to in the United States? Idaho is a beautiful state, but land can only do so much to draw people in decade after decade. The people in the government have to be doing something or a bunch of things to maintain this type of popularity. Everyone loves this state. In my experience from running this channel over the years, Idaho gets the least amount of negative comments. Second is probably... Utah, Maine, or Washington, but they aren't even close to Idaho. Over the past handful of decades, Idaho has emerged as a highly desirable destination for people relocating within the United States. The gem state has become a magnet for individuals and families seeking a better quality of life and new opportunities. Idaho's popularity can be contributed to a handful of factors. In this video, I'll give you the ones that I think have been the most impactful you might have other thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below after you watch the video and give it a like. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Natural beauty and outdoor things to do. Idaho is blessed with breathtaking natural beauty with an abundance of mountains, forests, rivers, and lakes. The state has countless spots for the outdoor types, hiking, camping, fishing, skiing, and drinking knee-deep in a stream. It's all there for you. For those who appreciate nature and an active lifestyle, this is an ideal base camp for a fulfilling life, I guess you could say. If you're the outdoor types, it really doesn't end. You're that way the rest of your life. It's not a fad. It's how it is in California for surfers. That's not a thing they just do if they've done it for more than five times it's in their blood outdoor types it's in their blood and they'll continue to do it forever and if you're going to retire someplace and that's your thing this is perfect here's some facts about idaho's natural beauty and outdoor things to do idaho is home to 3,100 miles of river more than 2,000 lakes and vast wilderness areas including parts of the rocky mountains and the sawtooth range over the years there's been many programs by the state government to get word out to other states and to idaho residents about the things to do outdoors here. They have one program that was formerly known as Idaho Children and Nature Network. Now it's Be Outside Idaho. And it's an ever widening network of partners collaborating to develop ways to connect children to nature has like grant programs and things like that. And that's just one of the programs that they've had over the years. I like this one because it's forward thinking. They get it into these kids now and then they're outdoor types forever, like I said earlier. And if they're outdoors these days, they're going to be taking pictures, video, and they're going to be sharing it on social media. It's like putting money in the bank. Does anyone know a non-Amish kid that doesn't post things they do at least once a month? Now, when it comes to their outdoor stuff, it's not just getting back to nature, hiking, camping, stuff like that. They have a lot of local fairs and music festivals and a wide range of community events. There's always something like that going on in the towns and cities of Idaho. Low population density and tranquility. Unlike a lot of other states in this part of the country, Idaho seems to keep their urbanization down to a minimum. I mean, their capital city is Boise and it's their biggest city in the state, and it only has a population of about 240,000, with the entire metro area only having about 770,000. That's the 99th largest city in the United States and the 75th largest metro area. It's not that big when you compare it to places like Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Seattle, Seattle. It's a legit city and it's a nice city. It's just not as big and urbanized, which cuts down on a lot of the problems. Like I've said many times before, policy does play a part in the problems that cities have, but population density is the biggest problem. More people means more problems. Boise doesn't have that many people, so they don't have that many problems. Meridian's the second biggest city and it's up there in the Boise area and it's only got 117,000. This is 2020 numbers. Nampa has 100,000. Then after that, a pretty good drop. You go to Idaho Falls, 64,000. Caldwell has 59. Coeur d'Alene only has 54,000. They don't have any giant metro areas, and that's great. A lot of the people that move to Idaho aren't moving to the big cities. They're finding small towns and suburbs to move to. It's just the strangest thing about this state. They've been very popular for a long time, and they're still, for the most part, a very rural state. The entire state only has around 2 million residents. 150 50 years ago, this state had less than 15,000 people.
affordable housing and cost of living. Idaho's affordability is significant and draws a lot of people up here. And that's where a lot of the Californians come from. They're tired of paying the prices down in Southern California, even Northern California, and they moved to Idaho. I mean, really, that's how Idaho got populated. People looking for land. Think about it. Anyone living in Idaho right now is probably only the second or third generation living there. I did a little research. I couldn't find the exact number, but my guesstimate, about 65% of the people living in Idaho right now, their great grandparents were born someplace else. So when you want to give someone a hard time for moving there, remember your family just didn't pop up out of the Idaho soil. The cost of living in Idaho, including housing prices and property taxes, is lower than many other states. They're actually ranked the 17th most expensive, almost middle of the road. Now that you may go, well, they're not one of the cheapest ones. No, the cheapest ones are places like Mississippi, Alabama, Arkansas, Oklahoma. You know, those places nobody wants to move to. People want to move to Idaho, and it's still relatively affordable. The median home value was around $442,000 in the second quarter of 2023. It's going down, so it might be a little cheaper when you're watching this. But that $442,000 is just a touch higher than the national median, which is $423,000 in the second quarter of 20. 23. This makes home ownership more attainable for many people in Idaho or people moving to Idaho. You can't buy a home right now in California unless you've got some serious coin or you move out to Death Valley. Booming economy and employment opportunities. Idaho's economy has been on a steady upward trajectory since the 2008 crash. This means there's plenty of jobs in various sectors. The state has a very diverse economy. They've got a lot of technology, agriculture, manufacturing, and tourism. Their tech is growing pretty good right now. For the most part, it's around the Boise area, but some of the other cities are seeing modest growth in tech. A few years ago, a lot of companies left San Francisco because it just got too bad and it was too expensive. And these were smaller tech firms that moved out to Billings, Montana. Some moved out to Bend, Oregon. Even Boise got a few. With all these tech startups moving in, it starts a chain reaction or snowball effect. More tech firms start moving there. One of the reasons for this is tech companies leech each other's employees. They're always putting out feelers for people at other companies to see if they'll come work for them. It's just this ongoing thing. Because of that, it's hard to get a lot of tech companies to to move to an area that really doesn't have much tech. I used to get emails from headhunters when I worked for Netflix all the time. They wanted me to come work for these companies. Now, this is the strange thing. I wasn't a software engineer. There was another guy at Netflix with the same name as me. But even though it was a mistake, I was getting offers, I'd say at least on a weekly basis. So why is Boise becoming big in the tech sector? Well, the local governments made it very attractive and enticing for tech startups to move to Boise easy. Set up shop there. One other thing that needs to be mentioned about their economy, their unemployment is always a little lower than the national unemployment. Perfect example is right now. Idaho's unemployment rate is 2.7%. The national unemployment rate currently is 3.6%. Both are two of the lowest the state and the nation's seen in a very long time, but even when it was bad, they were always a couple percentage points below the national average. Excellent education system. Idaho places a strong emphasis on education. With a growing number of high quality public and private schools, it's become a very attractive place for families. Idaho is also known as one of the better states for children with special needs. Montana is also, by the way. So here's some of the states that are the best for children, especially with autism. That's where I'm getting this study from. Special needs is also really similar to this, but Montana, Colorado, Wisconsin, Idaho, Pennsylvania, Maryland, New Jersey, Delaware, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New York. Some of the worst or the absolute worst are Nevada, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Nebraska, Mississippi, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, South Carolina, and Maine. Sort of surprised me. This was according to Parenting Magazine, by the way. In the last handful of years, Years, Idaho has made efforts to improve its education system. Beyond being okay, they want to make it really good. They've increased their high school graduation rate and invested in educational programs. They have a lot of different programs for the kids, like after school things, tutoring. They're very supportive when it comes to school and education.
low crime rates, and safe communities. Safety is a critical consideration for anyone relocating to a new area. A few years back, Google put out this thing of people that are getting ready to move or relocate, what they search for. The number one was always housing costs, followed by traffic. Then there was crime, followed by, is it pet friendly? I like my pets, but I can think of about 20 other things I would be Googling before, is it a great place for pets? But overall, Idaho is a very safe state. When you look at their homicide rate, they're ranked ninth in the nation with 3.7 homicides for every 100,000 residents. To give you an idea how good that is, Louisiana is the absolute worst with 22.9 homicides for every 100,000 residents. Now, Louisiana has a little more than double the population of Idaho, but most years, Idaho has around 70 homicides for the whole state. Now, Louisiana, on the other hand, normally has close to 1,100. Welcoming and friendly culture. Idahoans are known for being friendly and welcoming. The state's sense of community and hospitality make it easier for newcomers to integrate into local culture and form lasting connections with their neighbors. And that's what you really want when you're moving to someplace. You'd never guess that's how Idaho people are if you stay on the internet too much because the people that are leaving comments are always the negative ones. It's almost like you never hear good reviews because the only people that are going to take out the time to review a product are people that had a bad experience or they just want to complain. That's who you're going to see on the internet, those people that just want to complain. Trust me, the people that act like that are definitely the minority. I know quite a few people that have moved to Idaho and they all say the locals were very friendly. My friend Jeff lives in Moscow. He's been up there about six years. He loves it. And he honestly thought people were going to hate him for moving up there from Oregon. They were fine. My friend Ashley got married and moved up there a few years ago with her kids. She's doing fine. She loves it. A few couples I went to school with live in uh, Coeur d'Alene. All three of those couples have been up there like 15 years, so it can't be that bad. It's almost refreshing because if you're doing research about Idaho on the internet, I'm sure you're going to run into enough of that stuff where it's going to make it sound like they don't want you, they hate you and don't come and you're going to be treated horribly. The people of Idaho are better than the ones you're going to see on the internet. They're good people. I mean, they're not immune from jerks, but the people are part of the reason it's a very attractive state. Healthcare facilities. If you're in your 20s or younger, you're probably watching this video going, why does this even matter? Healthcare is very important, especially as you get older. I know when you're 22, 23, 24 years old, you go to the doctor every five years. That's how it is when you're young. When you're in your 40s and you're in really good shape, you only have to go in about every three months. 50s, it's about every other month, it seems like. If you're in bad health in your 50s, you could end up at the hospital two or three times a month or worse. So healthcare, especially as you get older and you have a family, it becomes more and more important. The state of Idaho has put a lot of effort into making their healthcare better over the last decade. And they've done a pretty good job. Idaho now has a well-developed healthcare system with numerous hospitals, clinics, and healthcare professionals spread throughout the state, providing residents with essential medical services and anything you might need. There was a time in Idaho, and this for a lot of the Western states was sort of the thing, especially if you didn't have big cities. If you're living in a smaller town, there was always the thing where you had to go to Boise or something to get any kind of health care. Back 50 or 60 years ago in Idaho, if you needed a specialist of some sort that was kind of uncommon, you might have to drive into Utah or Seattle. But Idaho has made great strides when it comes to their health care over the last decade at least. And that's thanks to the people voting in, the people that are willing to put in the work and get it done. a strong sense of freedom and independence. This is sort of the thing for people in Montana, Wyoming, and Idaho. They're very proud of this, and they expect to have a certain amount of freedom and independence from the state. Idahoans really value this. The spirit of self-reliance and personal freedom is one of the intangible factors that draw people in from other states. This is a known thing about Idaho, and I've had conversations with people about this many times online and a few times in person. This is definitely a Second Amendment needs to be defended state versus, let's say, California, where it needs to be defeated to them. I should mention that if you have a problem with guns, uh, Idaho may not be for you.
So in conclusion, Idaho's rise in popularity as a relocation hotspot can be attributed to a combination of different things. Natural beauty, affordable living, growing economy, strong sense of community, abundance of recreational opportunities, and freedom. As even more people discover the many benefits of living in Idaho, its popularity is likely to continue to soar, solidifying its position as one of America's most sought after places to call home. All right, everyone, that's today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Be nice to each other.